Hello, bicycles. My name is Hotsa C, and welcome back to Beltless Factorium. And today is the day where we will deal with uh, rocket control units. We have to research them first, but 300 uh, 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 science packs that's not a big deal. And if I don't get around here, then I guess I will have to re-record this intro. So, as you have just heard it here and now, uh, you can be sure uh, that this is what will happen today. But we also have uh, other things to uh, consider, uh, like a bit of clean up here. I removed the, the last uh, iron ore smeltery which means we can actually uh, remove that port here, um, which was a bit of um, an issue uh, with, with the layout, was not correct. Uh, we don't need a roundabout here, we can actually have a straight line going through and then of course we should make sure that we have proper signaling and here uh, let's add one here as well and as in the last episodes, we also want to keep an eye on our circuit production. Uh, let's switch to one hour and see where we stand. Uh, for red circuits, we are basically uh, switching be between this, this high uh, plateau and um, the low plateau. Uh, I guess that's where uh, we are missing um, ingredients so not all assembly machines are producing but over time we always have this this minimum of red circuits um, green uh, we also have these peaks however here we actually also have then this longer periods where we are actually not producing anything. And if we look why that is, that's probably because there are no trains delivering materials, um, at least for sulfuric acid, we should be okay today. And looking at this green circuits green circuits uh green circuits so we do have two open here and i think here here we are also quite backed up with green circuits so the amount of green circuits that we have available should not be an issue uh, maybe the number of trains is, because here we only have three trains. Um, then red circuits, uh, we have uh, delivery stacked up. Uh, we are here uh, also full with uh, the plastic and copper. Um, the green circuits that's the thing that at least here and here that we are lacking so not a huge amount is produced um, but I guess that's that's more on the side of the of the throughput for our factories not much that we can we can actually do there so 
because at this point we are fast enough with with the beacon set up um, that we don't need to think about adding more beacons for faster production because as you can see we do not manage to put through the ingredients fast enough for the factory so yeah now we see we are missing uh, train deliveries here um, so uh, that's definitely something to look into um, maybe we also need uh, one more train there um, we should be able to repurpose some of these trains that are stuck here uh, those are the old uh, iron ore trains i think we have in total six of them not sure what the other three are um, but basically we can ah here we are um, we can add them to a new schedule and let's also have a look at uh, our fields um, here we probably should clean up a bit so we can mine the, the rest of the the copper ore that we have there in the middle um, here a bit clean up and here as well and then up here yeah here we might also need uh, a bit of uh, clean up uh, here on this side as well and up here forgot to add the radar so no idea what's going on there um, but let's do the research first we will do this one and uh, while we are at it we will also then research the, the silo um, the space signs uh, the spider tron and the atomic bomb and that's it for everything else we need uh, space science so that's all that we can research and um, I think I will clean up the, the base a bit uh, and then we will see uh, how and where we will produce um, rocket control units all the fields are sorted out and I added one train each for red and blue circuit delivery. And if we look at production, I think we can see it as here for the red circuits. We have, we don't dip uh, that deep down and we have an actual upwards trend here hopefully well uh, there we go lower again but even here for the blue circuits we are uh, we have more ups we don't have this this long pauses here um, not sure if this is uh, maintainable or in, in the long run and uh, if not we will probably have to see uh, why and what we can do about that. But we have done research for the rocket control units. Uh, they need processing units the blue circuits and speed modules one and one thing that i realized with with our setup um it a lot of the issues that we uh, have is basically we produce something uh, on one side 
and uh, knead it at another side. So that's especially true uh, whenever we have to cross one of these main lines uh, because to cross it the trains have to use one of the few roundabouts which then become a bit of, of a bottleneck. That's why we also always see more trains around, especially this roundabout here, where we come from the top and then either go left or right, or yeah, we cannot go straight down here. Um, but we need the blue circuits that's here. We need the speed modules one and I'm thinking if we pick the blue ones up first, um, again, we would leave this way. We could go there. Would need to use that up here and for pick up there. And then we could join the main line again and we could either have the factory up here or a there. Here we do have the, the fuel line, the crude oil line, which might be a bit in the way. I mean, here we, we worked around it, but it's maybe a bit of a hassle. So let's, let's add it here and we i mean in the meantime we have had quite a few of these um we'll use this one and we don't need that part down here so let's remove that we don't need that part up here so let's remove that and then probably most likely I need to pick up a few more things so that we can build that i will do that and then head over to the actual site where we then can um, build the, the whole thing i think this setup needs a bit of uh, of updating um, we can replace here the long-handed inserts with uh, other ones and I think we shall use wooden chests here. We have a bit of uh, wood to spare. Um, probably I should have packed in more wood. Um, we will also upgrade the assembly machines and down here we are actually missing one and this wants to be um, Rocket, rocket control, unit delivery, we don't need the one at the end. And then here of course, same one. Um, we have even distribution, so it actually does not matter uh, on which line we are uh, delivering what. So let's just do it that way. 
and then here we also want to set it up correctly um, thousand or I, I, I think we will switch that to 500 here as well and uh, yeah then also down here we want to upgrade and Upgrade. Um, then I'm missing long handed inserters, chests, and uh, substations. And this one will be uh, rocket control unit RCU loading with a nice icon here and here we go as well for the rocket control units and then copy this over to the to the stations copy this over to the circuit and then here we will take a copy of this place it over there and then we have it and here and copy that so all right then we can set this to the right recipe for all the assemblers And then I will just run off quickly, fetching the missing ingredients, um, also fixing uh, this line here. And I think for this one we don't need to have stack inserters here on the outside, because we only this takes 30 seconds to craft we need one item for each unit so we don't need a huge amount of uh, of throughput there and uh, if we would have the stack inserters here on the outside um, then we would lag behind here on the inside and that probably wants to be in a similar speed all good so far so all that we now need is a few trains so let's pick these two uh, for the delivery and we will go waiting blue circuits um waiting blue circuits And blue circuits loading. Um, item count for blue circuits, of course. Um, we will make that uh, two thousand. Oh no! Let's make it fifteen hundred. And then we go to uh, speed module one pickup. 
Item count. Speed module once. And here as well, 1500. And I went with 1500 instead of 2000. 2000 would be a full capacity of the cargo container, but then we would have to set filters um, so that we do not load one single item more uh, than we should, because that would then mess up um, the, the whole system here. Um, we picked everything up and then we go to rocket control unit delivery and unload all or we wait for two minutes uh, nothing happening and then we go for train fueling time passed five seconds and then repeat right yeah and then we will copy that on this one send that on the way and the auto train as well okay those are the delivery for the items and as we do not yet have a rocket silo or we could build one we could yep but as we don't have one yet we will not yet have a train for picking the control units up as we don't have a train for the um, rocket uh, fuel, we do have a train for the low density structures, but of course low density structures we also need for other things. Um, so, as promised, we set up the factory for rocket control units uh, and I expect this to fully work because the last few factories that we uh, have put together we have perfected the, the setup and, and how to do it so no real issues there and then we can see next time uh, what else we need to do to make progress in the game and let's have a last look here uh, at our productivity graph for the last hour yeah we can see for the red circuits uh, now we are uh, higher long periods on high not this this up and down and then the last two drops that we have had were not that low however the last low one was 15 minutes ago I think that was that was after I added the the additional train but of course uh, the train also needs to uh, uh, get uh, on with things to to uh, to fuel and I think here uh, for the blue ones we see uh, more circuits being produced as well and if we would draw a line even that out we would probably see an upward trend here uh, for the blue circuits i think it's it's even uh, more clear there but probably um, if we want to really pump things out um, we have to improve and uh, I'm not sure if we can do that with, uh, with just uh, the one factory that we have or what we, uh, we will actually need. 
And we can see here that the first train is coming in. Um. Ooh. Yeah. We have definitely uh, um, put on some something there. So why aren't we loaded? Okay. These only stack to 500. Okay. In that case, uh, we'll make that a thousand and that a thousand. And then we should actually see the train coming in. One thousand and one thousand. Yeah. And there the train arrives. Uh, is loaded into the, the factories. I don't think... Ooh! I can add productivity modules in there. Did not think that possible. And... Uh, um, here we have... An issue. Yeah. That's how it should work. And then all the assembly machines here on the on the downside are actually working as they are expected to be. And we have the first rocket control units. So hope you enjoyed this episode and tune next time. Uh, when we will make more progress towards the rocket. Until then, goodbye!